Imagine you are in a treasure hunt challenge and you have 10 similar homes in front of you across the lane and you have been asked to find a number that is present inside any one of the home. You don't have any other information to help you with. So what are you going to do next? You are going to apply a linear search. So let's understand what this linear search is along with coding and space and time complexity. Okay, before we get started into linear search, I have just one request for you. If you are scrolling in phone or you are watching TV, please stop it. I just need 3 to 4 minutes of your time and you will be done with linear search. So all that's being said, let's start linear search. So let's try to understand what is linear search in technical term. It's a search algorithm that starts from one end and goes through each element of the list until the desired element is found. So that's what we do. It can be either from the left to right or it can be right to left. In this case, we have to find the number 10 and we have similar kinds of home. We don't know which number is present in which home. So what I would do is I would go to the first home and check what's the number. Here the number is 1. I'm sad because I'm searching for number 10. So I come out of the home and I go to second home. Here the number is 20, unfortunately. It is not equal to 10, so I come out of the home and go to the third home. And oh no, here the number is 3, again bad luck. So I come from that home and go to number 4. Ta-da! It has number 10, the one which we wanted. So I am happy and then I continue with the treasure hunting challenge. So this is as simple as that. Now coming into the coding perspective, let's try to solve this question. So here we need to find the position of a given element which is 6 in the given array which means we have been given this array 120, 5, 2, 10, 6, 11 and 25 and we need to find the position of 6. So here this array can be written like this and index starts from 0 to 7. So now what I will do is I will iterate over the array starting from 0 to 7. So now let's see what happens in the first iteration. In the first iteration my i is 0 so array of i which means the element at the index 0 is 1 then I will check if that 1 is equal to my target which is 6 it is not equal to 6 hence it's false so if it is false I will move to next iteration then i is equal to 1 array of i equal to 20 which is not equal to 6 I go next array of i equal to 5 where i equal to 2 and array of i equal to target no it is not equal to then i go to index 3 then i go to index 4 and finally i go to index 5 here i is equal to 5 and array of i which means the element at the fifth index is 6 this is the number that we wanted hence array of i is equal to target so i return index equal to 5 it is as simple as that so now let's dive into coding and i will explain how to code this algorithm so here is a simple java code where i have declared a main method from where the execution will start and i have a method called linear search where the linear search is happening in main method i will be declaring the array on which the linear search should be executed and also my target element so let me do that So if you see here, here I have declared an array called input which has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and then I am calling a linear search method which is taking input as well as target 6 which means I need to know the index of target 6 in this input array. So now coming to the main element linear search. So this is where the actual linear search is happening. So let's understand what's happening. So here I need to iterate from left to right right index so i will be declaring index i equal to 0 i less than input dot length which means i am iterating from i 0 to uh, length minus one element and then i plus plus so here i will be iterating from i is equal to 0 to i is equal to uh, let's say 6 right because the size is 7 so i will be iterating from 0 to 6 now i will check if input of i equal to target if it is then what i'm going to do return i else let's say in our in bad condition the element is not found at all so what are we going to do we will return minus one as a, a standard so let me format and here is the final code so now this 
method will iterate over all the elements and check if each element is equal to target or not if it is equal to target then i will return the index of that element else i will return minus one so let me just run yeah so if you see here i got answer five which means the index five contains the element six let's see here index zero has one index 1 has 2, index 2 has 3, index 3 has 4, index 4 has 5 and index 5 has 6, right? So here is how it is. So now let's, uh, let me try to find a number which doesn't exist at all. Okay, so I'm trying to find a number 10 in this array which doesn't exist. So I get the output as minus 1. So that's how it is. So coming to the time complexity, since it, it is iterating over entire array at the worst case so the worst case time complexity is o of n while the space complexity is constant because we are not using any spaces so that's all about linear search i hope you like this video if you did please do share and subscribe and tell to your friends about this video so that they can make use of it and if you have any suggestions or feedback please feel free to drop in the comment section and still if you have any questions please do let me know in the comment section i would be more than happy to help you all that's being said meet you in the next video thank you so much